<laughs> God damn it. Hello guys, welcome back to another Ball Report on the Mediocre Hobbies channel. We are once again delving into the world of the old world. It sounds weird when I say world twice, but like that, but we'll just make it work. I am using my uh, Night Goblin Force. I'm using the forces of uh, Orcs and Goblins, but specifically I'm going to delve in strongly for the Night Goblins. I use nothing but Night Goblin units uh, and try and face off against Tim's ravenous horde of Skaven. I have played off against this Skaven army a few hundred times back in the olden days. I think I won... About three times. Give me three for God's sake. <laughs> Give me two. Two. Twice. I won about twice. That's why he didn't show up to the game. I counted those as wins. Decided to go for a 1500 point game. The reason for this is we're hoping to attend the first event in Warhammer World. If we can get tickets, we probably won't, but we're going to go. But that event is a 1500 point mark, so we're going to see what 1500 point games are like. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. So one of the game, one of the armies being used is from the new books, and then one is from the, what's the thing called? PDF. Legacy. Legacy? Is it Legacy? Yeah, the Warmer yeah. Legacy yeah. PDF. Yeah, one is from the Legacy PDF army. So it's going to be interesting as well to see how a non-Legacy and a Legacy army face off against you. And see, do we really notice any difference in power or strength or play or anything like that? On paper, I can't see anything like that, but I guess... Yeah. Time will tell when we play through the game. Yeah, hope you guys are looking forward to an exciting game. We have Miss Laura on the camera today, so she will be doing lots of recording and laughing at us mostly, and um, yeah, having a good old time. And then we have, of course, Mr. Tim as the opponent, so I'm excited. Are you excited? I am excited. Excited? Oh, yeah. All right, let's, <laughs> let's get into it. Okay, so this is my army deployed and ready for war. It consists of Two units of squig hoppers here and here. They both have spears and light armor. I have a unit of squigs here with uh, the, the herders. So there's, there's 14 of them and then some herders. These are technically a skirmishing unit, even though they're in a trace, they can move around and do their kind of craziness. They're all skirmishing units. I have a mangler squig, same thing. Skirmishing crazy unit goes all over the place. This is very much the mental side of the table. And as such, I've gotten my bouncy squig dice out for fun. So when I'm rolling for those, then the slightly more sensible side, I have two big blocks of 30 night goblins. They are supported by a level four wizard, a lord goblin, and a BSB, all of which are kitted out with some magic items that we will talk about when we get to them. And then I have these bit of squig thingies, artillery pieces. I'm gonna use that as, a, as doom divers. I know the bases on them are a lot larger than they're technically supposed to be, but we're both okay with it. Obviously, if he needs to charge or needs to work out who's fighting or how many is fighting, we can work that out quite easily. But as it stands, they just look really cool. I think they're perfect stand-ins for Doom Divers for my army. So that's my 1,500 points of Night Goblins ready to face off against Timothy's Skaven. Just run you through the list. I have a Doom Wheel down on my left flank, followed by 29 Clan Rats with Light Armor Shields and Spears. There's a Level 2 Engineer. They have a Rattling Gutting. Gunner as a support. I have 29 Storm Vermin with the Scurry Banner. My Warlord, who's gonna be leading the army, is armed with the Fell Blade. I have two units of 10 Giant Rats, either side of another block of 30 Clan Rats. Kinda got a little trapped in the deployment, so I have five Giselle sitting in the back, and I have six Poison Wind Glover Deers on my right. So hopefully they can do stuff. <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> Right, so I'll get plus one to the roll-off. See who goes first. Seven. Six and a seven. <laughs> God damn it. I rolled a six and I still lost. <laughs> All right, so I won the roll-off turn one. So it's going to come to my kind of start of the command phase. And I'm going to cast my first hex spell of Curse of Arrow Attraction onto his squig herd. So it's going to be cast on a seven from my level two. So I cast on a five, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to attempt to fate it to dispel it, and I will succeed with, <laughs> with an 11. <laughs> I knew I should have had a warp stone token. <laughs> All right. Okay. So that's mine. Uh, the next compulsory move is my doom wheel. Doom wheel. Doom wheel away. He goes 10, ten inches. inches. So he's going to go. Wah! And why, why are you whine? That's, that's the little rat inside of it. <laughs> So now I'm just going to go ahead and move the rest of my army. I have advanced up with my giant rats. I've advanced up with my rats. And I've advanced with these rats and those rats and all the rats. Not those rats. You those, should, they're going to stay back and shoot. No, no. Too. They're going to shoot. No, 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 no. You should advance those rats away, uh, Farrell. Yeah, make sure you can still see. Mm, yeah. Okay, one gun. I'm going to just go shoot them. Right. So. So then we're going to shooting. These five are just going to shoot the big block of goblins because. 
Cause. Some can shoot them, but not all of them, so. Let's see what happens. Ah! Okay, they're gonna do something with that in a second. So two hits, because I hit all fours. I'm long range. One wound, because of strength five, minus two. First casualty of the game, one goblin spearman has been slain Straight by six minus three. sniper. Now, oh. I roll two ones with my uh, Giselles. I roll them again. If I roll a one, they take a wound. No, I'm good. <laughs> so they have a chance of exploding themselves. They're warp lock rifles. Yes. My rattling gunner is going to open fire. Rattling guns fire like organ guns. So two artillery dice worth of shots. Eight and six, that is 14 shots. That's math. They have moved in long range, so minus two. So hit it on sixes. Two hits. <laughs> Three hits. Strength five. Okay. I hit on sevens, because you're a skirmisher. Yes. So sixes followed by fours. So they all hit. So yeah. they all hit. What's your toughness? Squig. Squig, so three wounds. Two wounds. I don't move on to two. Squig heard. Squigs are all of us three. Okay, yeah, so strength four, so he's wounded on threes. Armor bane, don't get it. Uh, quick shot, so I don't care about moving. So, that's fine. Yeah, didn't work. He still worked out. Two minus two. Two, I'm gonna put him back in because he's the guy who's chewing the goblin, man. Yay, kill two. My dude has a pistol. Take me on. Not skirmish. I don't think I'm within nine inches. Nope. Nine inches. Uh, so he's gonna cast more planning on the 12th. So it is d3 plus one. So four shots. Strength five. So twos. Twos. And minus two. So the squeak hurt again. Squeak hurt again. Just hurting the squeak hurts. Just hurting the squeeze. Okay, that is the end of my first turn. Yes, I've it is. I got up in your face. You have gotten into my face, sir. I do believe my rats are going to die due to some fanatics now in a second, so we'll come back with that craziness. No. Okay. <laughs> nice try, though. Okay. So it's the beginning of the turn, so I'm going to go with the charges to declare. Uh, I do get a billion charges if I so wish to do a billion charges. Everybody wants fighting. I think I'm just gonna not be cagey. I think I, I have to try and remove some shitty little units to make some space and clear some room and do all that kind of jazz. I think that's the best choice. I think it might be the worst idea ever. It could also be really funny. I'm gonna declare charges. They're gonna go in your flank here. They're gonna smash into your front. They're gonna go to your side. I don't think I have to declare that. I think that might be random movement as well. I think those are the three charges that I'm gonna go for. And your reactions? Flee! Flee for your lives! Shocking. So I'm flee here. Uh, four plus one for five. So that'll get them. Um, right in front of your unit. Yep. Think. So these guys are gonna flee through that unit. Um, they're gonna hold. You said flee, Tim. Oh, now, they're gonna flee. Now you, you heard him say flee, right? I'll hold the people. Disgraceful, Tim. Oh, they're gonna hold. They can technically decide to try and redirect, but. Like I said, the distance between them is nine and a half inches. Their movement is, I think, only four or five. What is a night goblin? Movement four. So I need to roll a five yeah. on two of the dice. One of them has to be a five. Or you can hit these, run them down, and expose your flank to me. So it would be kind of interesting just to start a fight. Yeah. And see what happens. So I think I am. I'm going to redirect into there. He's going to cast Evil Sun Shining on them. Okay. So it's cast on a nine. So it's cast on a five plus his level four is nine. I'm trying to stop that. Nope. So that's on this gentleman here. So I'm going to cast Itchy Nuisance on them as well. On them. Get it on a nine plus four is 13. Yep. So Itchy Nuisance is a really good spell. So I'm going to roll a d3. I get a one. So not as good, but it's minus one toughness and minus one initiative. So it's D3, minus D3, toughness and initiative. So that's what they Ouch. currently have. Bad moon rising on the giant rats. So it gives you a minus three D, uh, to your initiative and weapon skill. So I just need to get a five on one of these two dice to even attempt to do this crazy charge. And I do. So that charge is indeed going to make it. And then the charge from these gentlemen here will of course make it. And they get to go like this. These guys did declare a charge. And they, they will. They're trying to move. So you just 
Pick a direction, roll some dice. So if they hit your goblins, they're dead. So seven, so no. So they only go to like here. Yeah. Over here. These ones, 3d6 move. 11. That's gonna suck. They just march eight. So, so they, five more. So they just, yeah, they're just gonna go up to here. Yeah, you can go closer. I know I can go closer. Go closer. I'm aware. Go closer. 3d6 movement for these guys. Boom. Man, these, uh, the distance that I'm getting on these are, is not great. But just hold them back for later. It's now onto the shooting phase. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot my, my rock lobbers. So I'm gonna fire the, oh, that's such a nice thing you did for me there, buddy. Gonna roll an artillery dice and a scatter dice to see where they go. Direct hit and a misfire. So just misfires. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I think it's if I roll a one, it's it's bad, bad. So let's hope I don't roll a one. I rolled a three. Crew immediately lose one wound. The model fails to shoot this turn and cannot shoot before the end of the next shooting phase. So it can't shoot this turn or next turn. Yeah. So I'm going to turn it around so we know that it's and the one that's taken a wound. And I have taken a wound. It's on two wounds left. We're just going to go again. Same target, same everything. And let's pray that it, this goes well. It goes 10 inches that way, which is probably better for me because it's going to smash into your guys. <sighs> I couldn't have gotten better if I asked it to. <laughs> Five perfect. And four partials, which are hit on a four plus. So two yep. are hit. One smushes you on twos. Yep. So one is just dead. And then six hurt you on a... Toughness two. So twos. Strength four? Yep. Awesome. So two, four, six. Six wounds, and that's a minus one as well. Uh, six of saves. Do make it. So, so in total, you lose five, five. dudes. Yeah, that was a great shot. It was a great missed <laughs> shot. <laughs> Couldn't have asked for a better result, to be honest. <laughs> uh, combats. Mortal wombats. Okay, we're straight into that, yeah. Wait, what am I missing? Shooting. I get to shoot now. What? It's, it's my turn, buddy. Why do you get to shoot in my turn? Doom wheels fire at the end of every shooting phase. Oh, for <laughs> I hate the drum wheel. <laughs> the one's gonna go there. Yeah. So I'll come around this side, make it easier. So within six inches, I place a small blast template. So I'm just gonna place all three of them like that. So I'll get two full, two partials, three times. If it hits. Does it scatter? No. It doesn't scatter? No. Your blast template doesn't scatter? No, it just hits. Let me double check, actually. <laughs> oh, it does scatter. <laughs> Of course it scatters! <laughs> scatters. Everything scatters! It scatters D6. Yeah. Right. Okay. So let's try this again. So the first one, it's gonna be right there, doing the same thing. Six inches behind you, it misses everything. Good shot. Do I not get to minus my ballistic skill now? No! And the, the arrow's yeah. pointing this way as well. <laughs> or that way, but yeah, miss. First one, second no, one. No, here, D three times, there you go. Okay, oh. back on you. So, six. Yeah. It's you? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> And third one. Track it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is why you gotta watch the Skaven, you know? They're a bit sneaky, a little bit... Okay. Two hit. Two partials. One hit. Okay. Oh, I just hit. Uh... So I hit you once and you hit me what? Three times. Okay. Shrink ten for me. So one wound and... How do I do it for each one? I rolled a three. What strength are you standard? I'm toughness five. If I roll for you... Yeah. So there we go. Yeah. So wounds. Good minus job. two. So you did one wound to me, minus two, and I have light armor, so and shield, so I go down to so one dice. Yeah, that sucked. Yeah. Okay. Very easiness. Artillery being the mentalness in this game is still a thing. So I'm gonna throw my nets over his unit as long as I don't roll a one. I rolled a five, oh, so yeah. he's netted. So he's minus one strength. So I'm gonna start with my dudes first, which is just one, two, three, Which four. Initiative? Yeah, you got plus three. Goblins. So goblins aren't slow either, I don't think. Initiative three and then plus three for charging. Six, so yeah. six. One, two, three, four, and then the boss. Five dice. And yes. So you are minus one. What weapon skill are you? Did I minus your weapon skill? Um, I don't know. What was the itchy nuisance again? That's why I want cards. Give me cards! Con! Itchy Nuisance is toughness and your initiative. So, so no. I'm weapon skill three. And so am I. So I miss twice and hit three times. I am strength three and you are toughness two now. Toughness two. So threes. So two wounds on you. 
All right, let's see if I can pass any saves. I passed one, one does. Oh no, I get armor piercing. And I increase my weapon skill by one, that's my spell. So you don't fit a pass any. So minus one to my save. Yeah. I pass on a six. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay, so now we have the BSB, who will roll some attacks. Will he use Wallop as one hit wonder? I think he actually has to. Yeah, I think it's the, the first f attack. The first attack that he has. Do you remember? Right. So the BSB is going to swing his attacks. He, uh, he's technically weapon skill five now. So is Wallop of one hit wonder? He has to, yeah. Is it one attack? No, no, it's ah, just his attack. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> of course, typical twos. So one guy has walloped. What's rank? Ten. Minus? Four. Okay. <laughs> he's been walloped good. <laughs> Best 15 points I ever spent. <laughs> okay, now the Night Goblin boss himself, he's got four attacks. He's weapon skill five, six because of the spell. So did he hit you on twos? Weapon skill. He's jingling my dice and two. Six. Twos. Twos. Oh, that's the wound. Six to weapon skill three. Threes. Six to three, okay. It's there, it's there. Yeah. It's uh, double plus one. Double plus one, that's the thing we need to remember. And then I have the choppiest chopper. I got plus one strength, so I become, and you're minus one toughness. What? Four, so three, strength, four? Five. Twos. Twos. And then obviously I get my armor piercing plus one, plus two from the weapon is minus three, so three more dudes are cut to ribbons. Ah! Okay, so that is my front rank need. So that only gives me five guys to attack back. Yeah. And I need a champion. Then I go for goblins. Awesome. So three. minus one strength. Yeah. Fives. Hubble wound. One goblin. goblin dies. Okay. So, you killed five? Yes. And you have an extra banner. And you have your one, two, three ranks, and I have two ranks, so you have an extra rank. And I killed the dude. Am I right? And saying I lose by that many? You will lose by six, yeah. Yeah, so there's five. Yeah. Leadership ah! is seven, eight, nine. So uh, I fall back in good order because I lose by yes. six. Yeah, I'm going to follow up and continue to fight you. So you just go back two inches. No, I, I, I've run away. Oh, you're running away like a little... So I go six inches straight back. So it ends here, hits them and bounces. So I'm going to test restrain which I of course pass because a goblin with a BSB and a character and many ranks. So I stay where I am and I can turn to face or whatever. So I get the wizard. Three, four, five. And the, the wizard. wizard's gonna bop you on the head. I'm sure he's slightly better than a normal goblin, right? Is he even better than a normal goblin? Night goblin shaman, he's a lord level and odd. Yeah, he's got two attacks, baby. Two attacks, hitting you on threes, both hit. Strength three, your toughness two. You're a tiny little rat. Threes! Oh, Two man. giant rats get bopped by magic stick. Am I? Boogity boogity! You're a rat, buddy. <laughs> you're, you're this size. Top for three. They're giant rats. Mind for two weapon skill and initiative. One dead. Yeah. And then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six attacks. Oh, hold on. You're netted. <laughs> so uh, oh, if you net five other guys in the rank plus the boss. Six. And they all hit you on threes. I'm um, weapon skill three. Not anymore, you're not. Oh, my minus weapon skill? Yeah, weapon skill on initiative minus three. So, so what do you mean weapon skill? Yeah, weapon one. skill zero. So I hit you on twos there, basically. What did I roll? Oh, I have one. one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm strength three and your toughness three, so fours. That's f three more. Three more dead. Two, three. Okay. I'm fighting extra ranks, so does that all count as a fighting rank then? You're in the, I'm in the flank of you. I still think they get to fight. Oh, uh, no. So just one attack? Yeah. Honor wizard. Misses. Good stupid talk. You lose by 27. Uh, I lose by four, and five, and six, seven, eight, nine I lose by. Yeah. Whee! I am double six in it away. Bye bye. Are you following? Which way do you run? Uh, this way, technically. Yes, I will pursue. So I will go eight inches. Oh, you're gonna go eight, and nine. I'm gonna go <laughs> three. <laughs> I'm here. Hello. And I go nine that way. Strategic phase now. So I'm going to cast my hex spell mm. again of arrow attraction. Sure. I'm gonna eat a workstone token. Um, 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 so um. it's gonna add 
Uh, four to my elixir spell. Mm. So, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, it goes off on. Twelve, yeah. And I don't get, I'm not within range. You're too any... far, and your fate, unless you box car it, can't stop Is it. Is he going to cast any other spells? Uh, yes, he will cast uh, probably Warp Lightning. Then I'm not going to bother trying to do that. I'll save my fate to spell if you're Warp Lightning. So you can yeah. do whatever this is. Yeah, so they get. I can reroll ones to hit them. Reroll. I'm going to put a dice with a one so we remember that. Ones yep. to hit them. I will now try to rally my fleeing troops. Rally! Oh, no. Nope. No, you did not. They keep running. That was exactly what I wanted to happen. So now I can issue charges. La charge! Mom's yelling at me. Yeah. <laughs> So am I brave enough to... <laughs> That's going to be a thing, isn't it? <laughs> Get in the corner! <laughs> I think I'm just going to try and be a big brave boy and not die to you for one turn. I know it's a lot of storm vermin. Okay, so they charge, they're holy? Yeah. Okay. That's all my charges? What? <laughs> Yeah, no, man. All right. I'm a little surprised by that. Oh, you thought it was going to go? Yeah. No. <laughs> get to fight first. You would kill some. They're not like very heavily armored. I thought you'd try and take them out on the charge. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, so charging. Five plus three plus my Swiss Strider banner. So ten inches. Scary times. Scary times. All right, I'm going to do the rest of my movement. So what's their move? Uh, four, so march, charge eight. Okay, so they're just gonna go ahead and go. Charge eight, charge 2d6 plus four. Oh, this thing. Compulsory move, yeah. Do it! Oh, straight in. And then technically, you hit on me because you're a skirmisher. So Did you rally them. I oh, rally them. No. Uh, nine inches. <laughs> Do the catch. <laughs> Go thirty points. <laughs> Start with some shooty woots. Yep. Ten shots. Oh, within half range. So I do hit on a number of some sort. I hit on fours. So five. Four skirmishers. Fives for skirmishers. And uh, because I get three roll ones. Three. I hit three times. Strength is fours. Two wounds. Yeah, minus two and minus one. Uh, the pistol. No, nope. these five are gonna shoot them. Warp lightning. Do I hurt myself? I do not. They all hit. Twos. Three dead. I will then throw my globe ears. How do these work? Uh, so I roll a hit. So I hit on, I think I hit on three, fours, fives, maybe. They're moving shoots, so I don't care about moving. They don't even suffer a penalty for moving, even they move and shoot. Move and shoot. No, that's quick to fire, so they move and shoot, so yeah. yeah. Fives. Yeah. Each hit is D3 hits. Yep. So, so two. Five hits. Five hits. Uh, the strength, two. Your toughness is. Three. Three. So quick, I'm gonna double check quick to fire. Cause it'll make a big difference. Let's get in shot at. So these are poison wind globe ears. They basically have these uh, big canisters of horrible poisonous gas. And then they fill these glass vials with them and they throw them into the, the and then they like crack and all the gas and fumes come out and poison you. So that's why they like, they've got little gas masks and like little safety gear on. I do not suffer the minus one for moving and shooting. That's quick to fire. So did you get an extra hit there? You get an extra two hits. Which becomes an extra four hits. Yeah. So fives and sixes. That uh, is three. I don't think you get armor saves. Don't think you get, don't think you ever got the armor. No, I think that's what the poison win is. No armor or regen. Three more goblins drop, choking and coughing on the yeah. fumes of horrible scaven magic. I know. 
It's the fun time again. They're gonna go over six there on him. Uh, first one, direct it. Second one, oh, it's gonna be a direct hit. Four. Partial on two. Just add the, the, the four. I forgot where it actually is, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Your shape seems. seems to be correct, yeah. And six. On yourself. Again. Right back there. Nice job. Uh oh. Just roll one, and that's, I think that's the strength of the turn. Six. Six, okay. So, does it hit me? You have to, it's a partial hit. No. No, okay. So I have a partial on you. It doesn't. Uh, I have three full and two partial, yeah. So the partials, one. So that's four hits. Yeah. And twos. And that's minus two. So they're dead. So four die, yeah? Yeah. I have to take it from one end, don't I? Yeah. Okay. So that was kind of fun shooting. Shooting, shoot, shot, shot. Shot, shot, shot. All the shoot, shooty shots are done. All the shooty shots are shot, shit and shot it, yeah. So let's do combat. I'm gonna start with impact hit, hit here. So D3 oh, plus one yeah. impact hits. 25, toughness. Three. Yep. Uh, that is heavy chariot impact hits. So it's at minus one, minus two, minus something. I don't know. This is your, your model. You tell me what it does. This guy. Commenters, point out all the rules we get wrong. We get them all wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. Just do a count on who gets the most wrong. <laughs> That's who loses here. <laughs> we do that every turn. And Start of the game, someone gets a wooden spoon for getting yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. wrong. Minus two to your saves, because he's a heavy chariot. I only get um, light armor shield. I don't even have light armor. I don't even have shields. So four dead. Four dead. My one attack from us gave him warlock. Two d six attacks. They get six attacks from all the rats running around the inside of the wheel. The weapon skill two. Which weapon skill? Three. Fives. Fours. Fives. Fives. Two hits. Uh, they're strength two. So fives, no, wow, the rats do nothing. And the engineer hits once, wounds. Minus, six of save, damn it. <laughs> Got one dude left. So how many did I kill? Six so far. So you have no attacks back. Give me the front rank. You would have had four, your skirmisher, so you hit to rank up on me, and then everyone else goes behind them. So you would go four models wide, and everyone else would Tell go behind. Tell now, huh? Let me see if I take a break test. I fail. My leadership is six as if I had a boss. So yeah, so they are breaking and fleeing. Yes, would you like to pursue? Can you pursue? Give us one minute, I'll see if I can pursue. <laughs> <laughs> Quick look at the book, just says I can't march and move in the compulsory move. Doesn't say I can't pursue, so I will pursue. I'm guessing I pursued my three to six or two to six? Two to six is a two pursue move. We'll do two to six, just in case I'm wrong. So I only go five. And I go four. four. This one. <laughs> The, the most important combat that's probably happening in the entire game is about to happen here. So Storm Vermin with his war boss in it is currently fighting my block of 30 Night Goblin Spearmen with my war boss and BSB. I'm just gonna hit your B. Oh, I'm gonna roll the dice first. Out of two, you are netted. Oh, I was so close to getting yourself. But I didn't, which is okay. all that matters. If I roll a one when I'm throwing my nets, I get myself and I'm like, oh damn it, and I'm minus one strength. I'm just going to hit your war boss because he's right there. Night Goblin, big boss, is weapons go five. So I hit you on threes. Yes. Oh, two hits. I wound you on twos. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you take... What's your minus to armor? You don't get an armor save or a ward save. Or a regen save. It is the blade that killed Nagash. And it's D3 wounds each. So, yeah. So it does five wounds. So my war boss is dead. <laughs> so I run up. Phil Blake takes his head. And in Skaven terms, he goes, ah, I got the head. And he runs to the back of his unit. <laughs> Skaven Valor! <laughs> Skaven Valor, he's a coward. Yep. And then a guy steps up. Eight with the storm vermin. Your initiative eight. Yeah, five plus three on the charge. So I have eight wide, nine attacks. I am what to skill four. Yeah, no threes. I am strength five. Four. I am strength four. So threes. So threes. Ah! Three at minus one. Minus one because you have AP minus Hobbits. one. You have halberds. So I have light armor and shields. I could use my shield and hammer. So and I get one. three, six, six up saves. Six up saves. Which I pass none of. Three goblins die. Me attacking you back. I get two ranks because spears on charge. So I get six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Character twelve minus the 
one from the boss is 11 plus the BSB. So you have six. Six in the back. Seven, well, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Did it on fours. Bureau's toughness three. Toughness is three. So four is to wound. I will do four wounds so far. I'm armor piercing one with this spell. Okay, so three die. Three die. And then the BSB has his yep. three attacks, who probably hits you on threes. And then uh, he's still just strength three, though, isn't he? Oh, no, he's strength four. So he's winning you on threes. So two more at minus one. One more. We have heavy armor. Caused four wounds. I have three ranks. I have a banner and a bot center bear. Three wounds from him and three wounds from... Yeah, them. From them. I forgot to get my close And order. then I have one, two ranks. Two ranks. And close order. And close order. So you lose the combat boy. One. one. Can you use his leadership when he's hiding in the back rank? In Skaven Valor, you can. <laughs> okay, that's all I need to happen. That is the best outcome I could have possibly got because now fanatics are going to run an absolute muck with him. Are you going to follow up? Um... Do I need to follow up? Follow up? If I don't follow up, we're not in combat. Yeah. You don't have spears though, so I would get spears in the next round of fight. Yes. So I'm going to stay this, and it doesn't stop me from doing any ma madness with my... Yeah, so you're going to push in. Okay, so let's do things properly. So we're in the strategy phase. Start of the turn, command, kindering, rally fleeing troops. Can I rally him? Does I need to like double ones for him or anything now? Because he's below such... I think I do, because he's below... Oh, six is going to... He's... 3d6. Right? No, yeah. Just 2d6. Keep going. I, think, I don't think it's his movement. It's, yeah, just, it's just the 2d6. It's 2D6. Is right. And it, you ran nine. But at the start of my phase, which is now, this is when I release fanatics. So I'm going to do that now. Place the model so the base within three inches of the concealing unit and not touching the base. And then I get to move it. So if I put them out here and they go here, they'll go through both. Yep. So if I just like conga line them. You have to be one inch away from me. No, they ignore that rule. Uh, for the when you place them? No, it just says they ignore the rule for the one inch. I think that's the rest. No? No, no. no okay. Uh, uh, where's it gone? Uh, that unlike other models, fanatics ignore the one inch rule. Okay, so do they bounce through the unit or do they, can they, they stop in the unit? They bounce through it. Okay. So they'll go there like that. And then this unit, so this is gonna go really well or really badly. <laughs> Two inches. Shit. <laughs> it could happen. <laughs> Which would just be really funny and pretty goblin-y typical. I think I'm onto magic now, am I? For hexes and stuff like that. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, which is the one that is the itchy nuisance that reduces your toughness? Minus three to your toughness in an issue. So I'm going to cast that first on this unit. I'm really going to hammer home to try and get rid of these guys. So it is cast on a six, seven, nine, ten. So itchy nuisance is on those guys. So it's minus D3 to your toughness and initiative. So D3, so minus one. one. Doesn't really matter. It takes you to toughness two for strength five. It's still twos then, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So that's that. A unit cannot suffer two hex at the same so you, time. So you can cast that hex and that one then goes away. I know it does, yeah. So if you want to do that. No, you're okay. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with you doing that I'm one. I'm okay. <laughs> uh, I will just cast it over here onto this unit. What's the range? So 15 inches. Yeah, okay. So I get a 7 plus 4 is 11. 6. How are you seven, on that one? I'm within 18 of my unit. It's the caster you have to be within 18 inches of. Oh, okay. Not me. I thought it was like the target. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Why is it so much more sense? So 3 to your weapon skill and initiative. Blech. Oh, yeah. And then the evil sun stabbing on my own unit. Which 7 plus 4 is 11 is cast. And so that's the reroll hits of a 1. And armor penetration. Can I please remember the one part that I always That would forget? make so much more sense to remember that. Yeah. They're going to charge the Doom Wheel. You rank up on the unit. Smash, 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 smash. He's a little monkey. He has a thimble to make the goblins go forward. Not a thimble, a... Uh... Thimble. Thimble. So close. One sewing protector thumb thing, one giant climbing... They're goblins. They could be smashed out thimbles. <laughs> So the old model for that was way cooler than the plastic model for that because he was like had the same thing but he had a big nose and his nose was bandaged because he kept catching it when he would close it so good 
Uh, okay, so it's 3d6 movement for the... I'm going to do the... No, I can't because then I'll get fanatic myself. <laughs> <laughs> so they're 3d6 movement anyway. So I'm going to roll to see how far I go. So the Mangler Squig goes 13 inches. That is quite an acceptable... Yeah, right, my friend. Oh, you hit him. <laughs> you can't stand and shoot, so... Yeah, okay. <laughs> And then the, these guys, six, eight, 13. That's a lucky number. Your unlucky number, my very lucky number. I'm within range. So, but how far, like, cause I can't just do this. Cause then that, they would all be going too far. Like, yes. one guy would be here and then the rest would be like, behind him, here. Yeah. I'm just gonna do this. Okay. That makes not, more not sense. Not try and fight because I think it's just going to end up being really weird if I try and do weird stuff. All right, now it's my shooting phase. I'm going to turn this guy back around to indicate that he can shoot next turn, but he can't shoot this turn. This one can shoot, and he will throw a blast. He's not that stupid. It's tempting, but he's not that stupid. <laughs> he's going to throw it over the Gisales. He gets a direct hit. But do you scatter because you're firing indirect? Uh, yeah, we checked the bombardment. It's, I'll, it'll let, the small template will end in the middle and not hit that thing. Right there. So now I'm going to try for my fanatics. And what I'm going to do is I need to be very careful and try and angle them so they don't all smash into each other when they come out. So what I'm going to do is the first guy is going to go 2d6 inches, which it doesn't really matter. He just hits the unit and bounces through. So he's going to go bang, 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 bang and land basically here. Don't need to roll for this one because he's within two inches of eye. So which direction? So to line up next to him. So this so way, yeah. this way. Would you roll? I don't have to roll anything for that one. But you, you might get really far. No, just when it hits a unit, it bounces to your side. But if you roll 12, you can go through here and hit them. No, same, same exact same roll. And then these guys, same thing. So he'll go here and out to here. So now we're going to try and do it for these guys. So this guy's going to skim across the edge. So his 2d6 inch movement will get him in. So nine. So he's going to bounce through this way. This guy is going to go try more diagonally. So he'll hit the unit. So seven will get him there and then he'll bounce out to this side. And then this guy will have to be even crazier of an angle. Let's see if he can make the distance. Ten. So yeah. So he'll bounce through and come out here. Fanatics. So what do fanatics do? Any unit that is moved through by a fanatic or that moves to fanatic takes D6 strength five minus three hits. So that means that one, two, three, four, five. So six D6 hits on this unit. And you're itchy nuisance by one, so you're tough toughness. So yeah, so the number of hits is 10, 20, four. 24 hits. <sighs> 24 fanatical smashes, wounding you on twos now. Yep. And you got no armor save from this. Minus two, three. three. Yeah. Okay, so I rolled one, one. So 23 dead storm vermin. Ouch. Eight, so that's two, four, six, eight. See, that's what I mean, I would've broke. 16. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So I have four and my character left. Sure. And then it's three D6, cause these three of them managed to bounce into this unit as well, but not the other three. So for that, we are only gonna get eight. So three, six, Seven, eight. They're gonna run. Are you gonna run back through all the fanatics? Yeah. <laughs> and you are threes because of your strength. Five on these is three. Are they still twos? No, the toughness four now. Three. They're three. Your toughness three, yeah. And the strength five, so that's twos. Twos, yeah. So no, no. So six of them are dead as well. Two, three, four. Five, six. So leadership test for them. So seven, eight, they're fine. Leadership test for them. So they're gonna flee. Oh yeah, so they're gonna flee then. So I'll just 
seven inches. Uh, so I'm gonna go to there. So I reckon if you're this. Yeah, they're all gonna go through it again. Like this. I land on him. Bounce through the other side. Oh, I can it. land on one of them, don't I? And it no, dies. No, it doesn't happen anymore. Okay, so they all run through there. Yeah. And get four more lots. Four D6, eight, 10, 14. So six, seven, eight. Okay, because you're going to have to do it because it might kill characters at a time. 13, 14. So your character has no armor or no magic. Nope. He's got 100 quid worth of... Yep. So I'm pretty sure all these will just kill him anyway. But yeah, you have to randomize before I start hitting the... Because now that it's on below strength, so I might start hitting him. So how does that work? So... No clue. <laughs> roll dice. Roll them all. Any ones are going on the character. I just think you're going to take all the wounds. So... The remaining dudes took a two, four, six, eight, ten wounds. Yeah, so they're all dead. <laughs> Just do that. That makes it easier. <laughs> they're all dead. Fanatics! <laughs> the power of fanatics. If you give enough goblins crazy mushrooms and a dustbin on a chain, results happen. So, two partials. And the third one. Right, gone. Gone. Okay, so strength is it's fire, so take a wound. <laughs> Good talk. Anyway. <laughs> not all the wounds caused against it. It is by itself. Yeah, it zapped and it tried to like release a whole heap of energy on this particular unit and he pumped too much power into the, the kind of conductors and stuff like that and then basically shorted it out so it caused a wound by himself and nothing else happens. It was a real like wob 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 And then so they're giving out each other this. And then the riding slide just got electrocuted and he's like ah! Yeah. Oh, that would have been fun. Oh well. Do I have terror as a mangler squig? No. No. So I do D6 impact hits. Six. Uh, strength. Six. So your rallying gun is dead. <laughs> but I don't want it to be. Tough. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> the weapon team is deployed with the three to the Timothy's way out of this as usual. Let's wait and see if you can find something. <laughs> <It's dead. laughs> Normally you think like a lookout servo or something for being near its parent unit. <laughs> so units throw it in six inches, like a bounty? Uh, uh, is it not big enough unit strength to do that? Yeah, it's not big enough unit strength yeah, to yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. So that was that, and then the squigs fighting. So let's see if the squigs are actually worth the points, because they are quite an expensive unit, and they've been getting fairly wrecked. I forgot the stomp last turn. Stomp with what? The doom wheel. Oh, it was against these guys. Yeah, already. I could have killed him. One, two, three, four, five. So five squigs is ten attacks. A squig is weapon skill four. I am weapon skill three. So threes. You're not using your squig dice. Oh, I forgot. Oh well. That's a two. So seven, uh, and then I'm strength five. Your toughness. Five. So four is to wound. So I got four wounds through on you. I don't know what. I am armor bane one. Is it armor bane? I'm, I'm AP minus one. Okay. And I'm armor bane one, so that one is a minus two. And then three more saves. Down to one wound. So I've not failed three there. I passed one, I gotta pass on a six. So one's one three, yeah, failed three. And then you took one from your misfire. Oh yeah, it's dead. So you're dead. So the squigs crawl over, maul, and destroy the beautiful... Uh, and then I can turn to face. You don't have a facing, you're right. Yeah, I know, but it looks cooler. <laughs> Fanatic's movement. During the crucial phase of the turn in which it was released, blah, 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 blah. During each and every other compulsory move turn, it does. <laughs> so while you're reading, I'm going to roll and see if my units rally. They're gone. Mm -hmm. Holy yeah. rally! <laughs> <laughs> Glorious! Oh, the rocks! <laughs> I'll keep doing marching column, buddy. You need them to get somewhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so they're gonna go this way. Yeah. Oh god. The leadership three. They passed. I can't believe on leadership three they passed and they're now back in the fight. See that? That's all it took for Tim. He lost like 900 points of his 1500 point army. Devastated. 12 points of giant rats return from the game. He's back in it! <laughs> 18 points. 18 points, sorry. <laughs> 18 points, get it right. One storm vermin invasion. They're gonna win the game! <laughs> okay. okay. Right, now that you're this waziness. Is you not know, declare charges or anything or anything? Oh yeah, charge. So they're charging and then and they're charging. And then before you actually charge, I move my jazz. Okay, so 
This could end horribly wrong with many fanatics killing their own selves. Start from the outside and work my way through, I think is probably the safest way for me. Yeah. So this one is going to go in this direction. 2d6 inches. Seven. Does that technically clip your base? No. <laughs> this one goes that way. 10 inches. Boom, boom. <laughs> so it's gonna hit me and him. The next one. <laughs> what? <laughs> goes this way and kills the two fanatics die. Did they die when they hit each other? They always did, yeah. No, do they now? He might keep going. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> so for the fanatics and Reese, they are also, I don't think they do. So here and, and then, then just, just on, yeah, here. like that. And then it was like this. It was like that. Heading towards your banner. So. No, no, more. I think he might. What was the range? You didn't roll the range. Oh. It dies. Roll the double. Oh, double. Okay. <laughs> that uh, solved that problem. <laughs> this one. Five inches. That's a problem. This one. <laughs> That's that way. Six, Six inches. So. A little more that way. No, it's on Where's the two way. measure tips? You gotta do the parallel thing. So it's here. Okay, and then the last one, flee through that. So that's the insanity that is Fanatics. 1d6 for you. Four. Twos. Yeah, four dead. No six ups? No, nope, Minus three, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. And is that 25%? Uh, plus four. Yeah. Four, yep. We're gonna flee. <laughs> I think it's just back towards your home when you don't know a direction. Isn't that the way it always was? Yeah. Back towards your deployment zone or something like that. It was free, it's fleeing from him. <laughs> yeah. So you're actually fleeing this time, not fleeing in good order because you're below 25%. So that's bad. Yeah, yeah, I'm fleeing. Yeah. Okay, so I don't roll for me because that's not bad juju. So you 2d6 on me. So you get seven, twos. Five. So six die. And did that one hit you as well? The, the, that was two. This one, this one. This yeah. one's there. Oh, they do 1d6 each. Yeah, so you did both of them. So one, three, four, five, six. How did you get them so many with me? Ouch. So my turn. So do they rally? No. I rally at the end of this phase, do I? I don't know. I don't know. They're running. <laughs> this, this, and them, and them. So they're going to run off the table because they're not going to be able to rally. Oh, yeah, because they're only like six now, aren't they? So in order to understand how leadership works on small armies like this... Clear leadership they, five. Yeah, they have the Warband Special Rule. So the Warband Special Rule is really helpful for us. So we are naturally very weak leadership. We're only leadership like four or five. But we get an extra point of leadership per rank. So we're braver the more of us there is. Timothy's unit now doesn't have a single rank. So he's going to test on his single standard leadership to try and keep them in the fight. Or they might just continue to flee off the table. So it's very bad. Plus no characters, no BSB, no nothing to bolster it. That unit's in trouble. But you, you just bought a leadership unit three, three. unit of giant rats back in. They're going to so. come back. They're going to win. Okay. So I'm going to finish my movement. So they declare their charge. Counter charge. Hey, we counter charge? No. Okay. <laughs> I can't even do it with infantry as well, remember? Uh, what's this size base? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough. You'll be able to swim by him. It's only tiny. Okay. Let's try to be cheeky. Gonna hit him and overrun it. <laughs> no, they're just gonna go straight forth. Wow! Oh, yeah, they are. Double six, please. You got this, buddy. And then... These guys... They're gonna see where they are, because you can't see me. <laughs> no, I cannot. I forgot to move this whole unit after I released the fanatic, so... <laughs> Who knows what they're gonna do? <laughs> uh, they rallied, so they can't do anything. Oh, yeah, you can't do it when you're in combat. Only, uh, let me bolt only yeah. um, so they can shoot. Uh, okay, they're gonna just shoot them. Imagine being him, right? And just like aiming up a shot and being really careful and all he hears is <laughs> Please don't go this way. Yeah. You should definitely get minus one for being afraid of the fanatic. <laughs> Who are you shooting? Just, the goblin. Just, just these guys? Yeah. All right, three guys die. That should be a panic now. No. 25% from the start of your shooting phase? The start of the shooting phase is now, yeah. Oh, yeah. This? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Damn it, it's three. It's three from like 21 dudes. <laughs> but it's a really strong gun. <laughs> a goblin died, I don't care. 
I like 50 more of them on the table. Yeah, more. Okay, let's see my globe ears. Oh. 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 oh shit. I think that's something bad happens with those. Yeah. So that's one hit, I think. Hits you three times. Yeah. Two. Two dead. Two dead. Uh, let me check globe ears if I roll a one. Oh yeah. Don't look at my dead pile, no. Shh, none of these, they're just sleeping. They're sleeping, leave them alone. Pay attention to Frank, look, look at Frank. Frank's not the big guy. He's the little dude off the side. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Look at him. Whee! Okay, 2d3 hits on my unit. 2d3 hits on my unit. Because they're all oh. two ones. 2d3! So four hits. Yeah, strength two, toughness three, so fives. Fives! No, they're good, Correct. they have gas masks. Nothing. All right, combat! I'm faster than you. How do you know? I'm initiative. Oh, because the rules tell yeah. you you're faster? Okay, you need rules. Uh, I got four, five, six in the front, plus one for the champion. And. That's it. I don't think my engineer has Play anything fast, good. Fast, die, young. Let's not play with the dice before Lori gives out to me again. Give an engineer has two attacks, so he's just gonna. He's box standard, so. Wah! That's loads of misses. Tough this now. Toughness. Three. No. So I get to attack you back now. Ding! So I get one attack from all the dudes on top, which is seven. Yep. And uh, yeah, and a boss is eight. So I hit you on fours. And I wound you on fours. So one wound from that. I'm good. Cool. Now the squigs. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen dice from squigs. They are weapon skill four. So I hit you on threes. That's lots of ones and twos. I could have done without rolling that. I'm strength five, so twos. So I eat two, four, six, seven. Um, minus? Uh, they are strength one. Uh, they are minus one AP, and then they're also armor bane. So one is minus two, and six is minus one. So six sixes. So six die. Six die. Ah. So I have six kills. That's my combat res. I have three rings and a banner, and I'm closed order. So you lose by one. If you lose your, if you fail your leadership and break here, the game is over. Like you just did. Yeah. So you're going to flee now, and I'm going to pursue. If I catch you, Five, you will have a, you have been past breaking point, yeah. and this will be the end of the game. So what do you run? Six, eight, seven, eight, nine. Nine because escaping. So I got to roll a little bit higher on nine. Oh, to see if I can get him. Nine. You catch him. You're caught. Run That's down. the game. Nice. That's the third win for you. The third win? Like since we've been playing games together for 20 years. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about the old world. I was like, have I won all my old world games no, so far? No, no, this is, this is, uh, oh, it's two, it's first two one. one. No, I ran the last, won the last one too. Bretonians we, we v. We cheated in that one. Bretonian v. Dwarves. Yeah. How? Your ground knights didn't get a five up invulnerable save. Ward save. Ah, oh, they did. No, they didn't. Ah, oh, they do. They would have been dead. Nah, they wouldn't. They're talking. We're just running that game off. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, so that brings an end to the game. Um, Night Goblin victory is assured by the fact that fanatics exist. If I had gone one more turn, all the fanatics in my area might have wrecked my army and I might have killed myself as well as killing all of Tim, which would have been kind of funny. Six fanatics is not fun. No. no. Well, no, no, no. Six months is loads of fun <laughs> for me. Not for me. For me. <laughs> Not for me. He killed my warlord. He killed my boss. I should have like threw tax into him and killed the banner, and then I would have won that fight. You would have actually. Yeah. Because I lost. Yeah. So that that would have you know gave me three more kills and think yeah but. Shoulda coulda woulda wanna change my mind. Uh, hey 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 he's forge one. <laughs> <laughs> okay so um, yeah we'll be back with post game after this. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to the post-game analysis of what happened in our second battle report for Warhammer the Old World. So the Night Goblins obviously worked heroically, beautifully, powerfully. Boo! They were, they were commanded by a genius tactician, and the results speak for themselves. Timothy, of course, he's gone home crying because his Skaven got the absolute <laughs> snot kicked out of him. Come on in. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 
Tim doesn't do well when he loses games, so... Um, doesn't lose, so tactically retreat it. You tactically <laughs> retreat it. All 12 of your models that are left, yeah. So what can I say? The game was fantastic for me. Uh, Fanatics won me the entire game. They did fantastically. I deployed them, crisscrossed over a big unit, pretty much destroyed his war boss and his big giant unit. And yeah. um, that was a real big gut punch for you. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, the next turn, they all kind of went everywhere through me more than they went through him. And, and if we didn't go through the breaking point now, if he had even gone for one more turn, there's three fanatics swirling around my entire lines, which could have done a lot more damage again. But I guess we'll never know that because you lost. Um, so how do you feel, Tim? It's okay. This is how you make me feel weak <laughs> on me, so... <laughs> this <is a> big, <laughs> ow! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> That's karma, I think. <laughs> Um, what did you think of the game as watching? How did it go? Do you think we're insane? Do you think it goes well? Do you understand the rules now? I don't fully understand the rules. I was hoping for more from the squigs as well. Yeah. Because I've heard so many crazy stories about them. But yeah. I am getting even more excited to play myself soon, so... You're frantically painting Tomb Kings as we speak. Sure. As we yeah. speak, yeah, 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 yeah. So hopefully we'll see Laura on the channel sometime very soon, not behind the camera, in front of the camera, playing with her Tomb Kings. Uh, but we will be doing absolutely tons more Old World Battle Reports in the coming weeks. So if you enjoyed it, make sure you give the video a like, subscribe to the channel so you see all the coming releases, and then ask us any questions in the comments below and we will get back to each and every one of you guys. You can also try and figure out who made more mistakes during the game and let us know below. Because obviously lots of people in the first one told us all the mistakes we made. We learned a lot from that. So if you're willing to go through it again and let us know all the mistakes you made, we will be very grateful as long as Tim has more mistakes than I do. <laughs> okay guys, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. We shall see you again in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>